So, I was here last night with four of us. Now we had an easterly this morning. It might be a south south easterly, but it's a pretty much coming straight in. So I've motored with the last of the ebb. Uh, I was looking for there was no shelter on either side of the river because it's pretty much coming straight easterly. But there was just a little bit down here. Place, surrounded by rocks, it's like a little lagoon in a reef, pretty much next to the Coast Guard station here. So, that's where we are. It's like a little oasis. So here we are on board, down below, but we're going. Got the whole main up, most of the jib. I've just left it reefed because it's tight around the right? Yeah. Till I've uh, tensioned the, the bottom a little bit. But, a cracking day. The wind's lightened up a bit now. I might even shake the reef out of the jib. So it's very hot, there isn't much wind, uh, there's so little wind that I'm barely moving with doing that. I've just got the main up, I've got the whole jib up now. We are moving only a knot or two, but we are moving now. Uh, I, was quite not, I was out there a bit and I thought there is very little wind. I better head back into the river before there's no wind. But we are making progress and the tide's with us. Plenty of time before high tide, got about two and a half hours, so if it takes us two and a half hours to get there by sail, that'd be fine. Well, the wind just picked up a little bit. Giving us a nice run into the river. We're well in now. We're right by Durgan, which is scan around. Durgan is there. So sailing through the moorings is always an interesting one, especially with a hard tide running because you want to make sure you don't find yourself running into anyone. Selford Village. See, oh, well, this is the ferry. It used to be a ferry. A long, long time ago as well, so it's been going on a long time. But they still run across the river during the day. And you can see Bar Boy up ahead, this green cone. Got a shallow here. I have to sail over it now, there's enough for one. But we'll go around it. And we're aiming for Frenchman's. And then we'll head back to over there, which is our Abraham's bosom. 
best place for a northwest in the morning. So Frenchman's Creek is next. It's all very beautiful here. As you can see. The gig rowers there practicing. Might be wind coming out of the creek, we'll see. I'm planning to swing around into it. I might have to put the camera down because we're going to anchor in there for a few hours and get some food on. This creek is dry half the tide, but at the minute it's coming up and there's enough water. Shadow by the main, so it's just there. <laughs> but it might be needed for tacking because without without it, tacking's a bit dodgy. Okay, now the boat looks like it's the ground. Maybe it's just an anchor. Still sailing. One of the things I love about this creek is that it's so beautiful. When the high tide's in, people are going to come here to soak it up. They'll come here in their boats, some are sailing boats, some are motorboats, some are canoes, some are even the gig boat, training gig boat comes up here for a break and they'll sit and soak it up. This is the power of nature. This place is amazing. It's one of my favourite spots on the river. Frenchman's Creek. They call me William the Pleaser I sold opium, fireworks and lead Now I'm telling my troubles to strangers When the shadows get long I'll be dead 
Now her hair was as black as a bucket of tar, her skin as white as a cuttlefish bone. I left Texas to follow Lucinda. Now I'll never see heaven home. Now I'll never see heaven. So it's the morning of day four of my shakedown. It's another lovely day. Not there. So the plan is to go from here. I'm just gonna literally come around there through the small craft moorings to to here. Where we've got we've got the northwest wind, so I have a bit of shelter there for a bit while we wait for the tide to turn. But I'll probably do some sailing out here in the in the main river as well, uh, and then all the way back in to Warren. So that's the plan for the day, last day. <laughs>